Breaking news at 9 o'clock, an Arcadia police officer and two other victims shot and rushed to the hospital. Tonight, the suspected shooter is barricaded inside a house. This all happened around 4 this afternoon in the 2500 block of Greenfield Avenue in Arcadia. And we are covering this breaking news from the sky and the ground. We begin our live team coverage with KKL 9's Lori Paris. She's live in Arcadia this evening. Lori. Well, Pat and Juan, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of media here. We are set up. We're anticipating any moment now a press conference to begin updating us on the very latest on this very tense and scary situation that continues here in Arcadia as the residential street beyond the alley behind me has been taken over for hours now by police responding, as you said, to an armed person barricaded inside a house. If we go down that to that stop sign, the home is just a couple houses to the right down Greenfield street. We were right up there, but we've been pushed back since we first got here. We're told for our own safety. I understand Sky 9 is overhead and might be able to give us a, a better look uh, from the sky of what's happening down near that house. This has again been going on since about four this afternoon, and in that time it has intensified. As you said, with shots fired, one police officer hit along with two civilians. They have since been taken to the hospital as the suspect remains inside and remains, police say, a danger. The latest information was there were negotiators trying to talk to the person who was claiming to have some sort of chemicals inside the home, raising, of course, concerns about what he might be capable of with those chemicals. Again, the suspect was firing throughout the time. Uh, we have video of another officer at one point taking cover behind a tree and then having to be rescued by a team with an armored vehicle. He was seen limping out, injured in the response. That is one of a few um, armored cars we've seen as an armored Army of first responders descended here. Sheriff's deputies, the SWAT team, El Monte police here to support Arcadia police. We have been watching as dozens of officers with helmets and rifles have gone down the block again, the 2500 block of Greenfield. We understand they evacuated many homes around the home with the barricaded person inside. We did speak with a couple who was trying to get home and were told uh, to find another place to be likely overnight. Police uh, say that this started as a domestic disturbance call no word yet on what started it yes again a public information officer is on his way we're told he's less than five minutes away he's going to give us the latest on um, their response here and hopefully also give us some information on the conditions of that police officer and the two victims who we understand were shot for now guys back to you all right, Lori, thanks so much. We'll get back to you when that news conference starts. Our live team coverage continues with Desmond Shaw live over the scene now in Sky 9. Des? Yeah, Juan and Pat, so Lori was just talking about an army of first responders. There's also an arsenal here that really basically uh, is all around this house. I don't think I've ever seen so many Bearcats respond to one incident. There's at least four of them down there, possibly five. You also have the sheriff's helicopter overhead providing that light. That's the spotlight that you see. It took a very long time for the armored vehicles to go door to door to the surrounding neighbors and uh, evacuate everyone in the immediate vicinity. Folks that are four or five, uh, maybe Maybe about a block or so away are being told to shelter in place. The whole chemical angle is uh, really complicating things for their plan uh, as well. But uh, this could be here for quite some time if the suspect uh, does not surrender. It's been going on now for uh, many hours uh, with no end in sight. Live in Sky 9 overhead, I'm Desmond Shaw. Pat and Juan back to you in the studio.